from KTVO Kirksville, Ottumwa. This is Good Morning Heartland because accuracy matters. And welcome back. We are live in the kitchen at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One. And this morning we are joined with Barb Stewart. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Great. And we are going to be doing something a little bit seasonable for this time of year. That's because we are going to be preparing fried green tomatoes. Correct. And for us, Megan and I, We've never seen green tomatoes, let alone ever tried fried green tomatoes. I've seen them. I've never like seen them. Like in the them. garden. I'm but well, this Mark is over kind of an end of the end of the <laughs> This is kind of an end of the season type thing that you do with the green tomatoes okay. that are left in the garden. All right. So go ahead and so we have the green tomatoes, uh -huh. and then we have flour, which right. is right here, and then we have eggs. Right. So you're and gonna so beat the eggs. All right. How many eggs do we have? Uh, we have about four eggs, and we have about four to six tomatoes. And you're going to take the tomatoes and put them in the eggs and then dust them in the flour and put okay. it in the skillet. Is that good enough? That's good enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it matter how thick you slice these? It's or about is it a all... half inch thick. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So do you want to go ahead and start dipping? So sure. dip it. And actually you can put several in there at a time. Oh, so oh just look at kinda, that. Yeah, just kind of let them soak in there. I like that. Yeah, then they're all... Okay. So this is kind of like a messy project that we're doing, right? <laughs> Yes, it's a very messy project. Right. If you don't okay, like to get dirty, then you shouldn't do it. Okay. Take them out. So go ahead, Megan. I don't like to get dirty in the <laughs> kitchen. Oh, sure. I'll take over. <laughs> then just throw just them in. Just kind of roll it around in the flour okay. there. Yeah, there you go. Not too much. You okay. don't want it to, and put okay. it in your skillet. Okay, and, and then what's in the skillet? Yeah. The skillet is butter. Okay, just butter? butter? Real butter. About three-fourths of a stick of butter. Okay. And you want it melted, obviously, before you yes. put it in? Okay. Yes. All About right. medium... Um, I still feel I can't do it anything here. Let's turn it on. There we go. Oh, there Perfect. we go. That's Got good. it solved. That's why there's three of us in the kitchen, just in case something like this happens. So, and then how long do we want to, obviously this is dirty. Well, we it's about, see. yes, it is. I thought you didn't want to get dirty. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> about, um, about three to five minutes on okay. each side. All right. Till they're just nice and crispy and golden brown. Okay. And which, um, then... Um, you want to go and clean your hands? They're good sure, to eat. They okay. really don't take very long, so, and it depends on whether or not the people like Oh, I can like start it. hearing, I can hear it yeah. sizzling. So what is something, obviously you can eat this by yourself if you'd like, or what else right. could you make this with? Like what kind of dishes? Oh, it, this could be a side dish, uh, like a, you know, like your vegetable. For okay. like if you're having pork chops, if you're having uh, chicken, if you're having okay. roast, uh, Anything. All right. If a dinner. So we're gonna you go know, ahead and for your Sunday dinner. Keep cooking this. Mm -hmm. Has it been three to five minutes? You already brown or turn them. Um, so, yeah, really. You're, oh, you're they're not to going to be very good inside. <laughs> See, this is why I don't cook in the well, kitchen because I don't follow quit, directions. Quit, quit turning them. <laughs> just let them go. I'm just gonna let you do the work. I'll just stand here and smile. So, all right. And then, so are they going to be crispy? Are they going to be like? They're going to be, the outside is going to be crispy and the inside is going to be soft. Oh, okay. okay. All, right. All right. And then you don't need to add anything else on top of this once uh, they're a done? A little salt and pepper. Oh, okay. Or actually, some of the ingredients call for uh, cornmeal. Oh, okay. And you can use half flour and half cornmeal. Okay. And you can also use uh, some Cajun seasoning. Ooh, that if sounds you like good. Those. Okay. Uh, there's lots of different seasonings that you could use. Okay. Um, Go online, and of course, there's tons of recipes okay. that tell you. And as um, as you can see by this, she's the professional because she didn't even use her hands on like. Well, I did. But um, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let this sizzle for just a little bit longer. That way, we know that they're finished. And while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and toss it to James Bukley in a tumble to see what's happening tonight on three point. And welcome back. So we're pretty much done cooking our fried green tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and really fast recap what we did. So we have green tomatoes. We beaded some eggs. And then we Whoa. dumped it in there. Sorry, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> and then we put it in flour. We put it in the frying pan for, you said, about three to five minutes on each side. Correct. But because we have an induction oven, or excuse me, stove tops. This is why I'm not in the kitchen. <laughs> this is just too much foreign information for me. So then we put it on the stove top, cook it three, three and a half to five minutes the three, right. on and each side. Right. Do not turn it constantly. No. Let it sizzle for a little bit. No, right. All right. Correct. And then this is what it comes out. Correct? Correct. Okay. And we can, like you said, we could serve it as hors d'oeuvres or as sure. a side dish with anything that you would like, whether it's salmon, chicken, and I can see Megan over there. I'm She's ready. ready to chow down. So go ahead. <laughs> Since we both never tried it. 
And just to let you know, if you are interested in the recipe, we will be posting this on our website after 9 a.m. along with the video. And uh, we can, I guess, enjoy, right? Are you yes, happy? Yes, yes, I am. I'm going to get these out of the skillet, though, I think, with this wonderful stove here. It Perfect. cooked it a little I'll faster, a so it's just great. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank they you so delicious. much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. It was great fun. All right. Well, I'm Ellis Roca. This is Barb Stewart. And I'm Megan Wise. And your news will continue tonight on KTVO. <laughs> I cannot talk. Would you just like to talk for me? Sure. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> Stay tuned. You can catch us tonight.